Kalsberger will intercept. It'll work its way over to Busquets, who will send along the far sideline, keeping it in, I believe, is going to be. It's going to be crossed, and it's going to be a goal. The assist is going to go to number 16, Carter Breen. It's tough to see the number, but it's going to be crossed in. It's going to be headed into the back of the net. Duquesne takes an early lead just four minutes in. And now Boos gets his ball down to Dragasich. is looking for Shear. Shear makes a move around one, has an opportunity. He'll shoot, and a score! Jack Shear with the goal. Duquesne up 2-0. So right after the missed penalty kick, Dukes come back, and they make it 2-0 anyway. Well, we'll slide it back for Kappelsberger. Kappelsberger finds Busquets. Busquets has shifted over to this left side. Momentarily got the ball back. Right-footed shot. It's going to be in the back of the net. And Duquesne has taken a 3-0 lead. Busquets from about 28 yards out. Buries it. And he'll take a bow for his uh, actions there. The goal from Busquets is sixth of the season. Breen will send for Busquets on the near sideline. Busquets makes a move around one end line. Cuts back in with his right. Looking for Shear in the box. And now it's going to be in the back of the net. That will count this time. Shear from Busquets one more time. But this one's going to head up on the board. And it's going to be 4-0 Duquesne on top. With 9.42 remaining. The goal coming in the 81st minute. Jack Shear with his second of the evening. 